this is a unboxing it's not diamond painting related so yeah it's cross stitch so i ordered this off amazon as you can see with the smile face on the uh, package so let's open it and see what i've got right so i thought i would try doing stitch um so this is what we get in with this so i thought this was going to be quite cute so you get a little um sticker i think or just a little picture of what you are looking at doing uh sorry if it's like tilted a bit it's the uh camera angle then you get the um counted stitch floss on there all the colors all the way down there you get instructions how to uh stitch just in case you are a new a new beginner so on here you get what is labeled on your um canvas here um and obviously your um sheet that tells you like where to put what stitch so here you've got how many strands it is um if it's a 12 count i think you have two strands if it's a 14 or 25 i think it it could be like three strands I don't quite know if i'm wrong it's something along those lines ah uh, right so it says here 11 counts you use three strands because you get six strands in a floss and then 14 count you use two then it tells you how to use it uh and it says choosing the right um flosses and everything and then here it tells you you've got your full stitch your uh half stitch three quarter stitch um continuous and then you've got back stitch cast off and french knot now i'm not good with any of those apart from uh back stitch half stitch and whole stitch so if there's any more than that yeah it'd be like good luck <laughs> um yeah so this is what is mainly important so this is what comes with all your colors and they'll be labeled one to whatever so there's 25 colors in this uh i think there's 26 because this is how much black you will need now it tells you here i don't know what number the black is let's have a look see if we can find out right, right so number two they put a little bit of black on there but this is how much black you will need um it comes with the pins there like so um it's similar to diamond painting because you've got all the um it's a 36 by 46 yeah this is a quite a big one uh it should tell you here how many um stitches you have but this is uh little on stitch but it's just stitch with the guitar uh so this is going to be beautiful once it's done um yeah so that's quite yeah, this is quite cute uh yeah once you've completed this then you will submerge this into water um, and the actual print will come off and you will be left with the um, just the threads so yeah all this above here will be gone all this along here will be gone so it will be easy for you to put into a frame afterwards this is absolutely cool I am absolutely liking it I think this is just a full stitch so i'm going to be in my element putting all of these 
onto here, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, the blue, I might put some metallic, I might get some metallic uh, thread and just do like half stitches all the way around just to neaten it, if you know what I mean. But you can actually do like stitches all along here so i might just make that into yeah i might just do do this here into uh metallic colors but yeah it's so easy to um this pattern is um yeah it says here this pattern's printing pigment is water soluble so i stopped to get wet the picture is only for reference without any commercial activities in order to make the uh one symbol instead of uh yeah so it doesn't say that it's got any half stitches usually it would say whether it's got it or not but i don't think it's got it on the other part let's have a look on here this one is exactly the same um yeah you can't really read this one this one's quite not a no go to be honest so you would uh, this is just a guide on where you put your numbers um, and your patterns so it's similar to diamond painting but just in cross cross stitch form which is quite um yeah i would work in blocks of 10 so i would work in 10 by 10 and then 10 then 10 then 10 i work from left to right some people say to start in the middle i would if this was a blank canvas um but it's not so i would start at the edge which is up here and then i would work across in blocks of 10. so it's a good job i've got the the markings to show me how i'm doing it so that's how i would do it uh, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, might get that started because this I can do in the bedroom, whereas everything else, every other craft I've got, I can't. I can't use that in um, in here. I, I I just I just can't. It's a bit um, weird. I would get some more of these bobbins and I would put these onto the bobbins. Um, I've only got about 12, I think. So, yeah, I would need to get some more. They're not dear to buy. You can get these in any craft store and eBay and Amazon have them. I think you can get about 50 for about 2 99 so not that much really. Um, Sheen have them as well, so have a look on Sheen. They do have a lot of cross stitching um, tools. Um, I'm not sure whether they do do these, but they do do diamond paintings as well. Uh, not been on for ages because we've had we've ripped the carpet up, so we have got just concrete floor. Uh, we are waiting uh, for a response to see whether we can put the um marble tiles down because uh, i don't I, i'm not sure whether we are allowed to um so we're just waiting back for that and then what else yeah it's just getting this place done and nice because we need a new table where i am uh new city yeah the whole living room is being done out as well so uh yeah that's all that uh, and that's it for now um, if we don't if they say no we can't use the marble tiles then we will look at painting the floor or putting vinyl down that's the only option with the big rug um, and we'll sell the, the, uh, the tiles but I don't know I should have gone to house having with my mum to see my auntie but obviously i've been in a lot of pain um i've got doctors next week as well and we've got um a surprise for chris for his 40th and it's an early birthday present so 
yeah i will be absolutely happy when i can reveal what that one is but stay tuned on tuesday to find out what that one is uh because it's a big 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 um birthday for my husband so yeah so i will get on with this and i'll start it and i will let you know how i get on i will do whip and chats as well and come on and let you know how i'm actually getting on with it i have got other um pdf files that i've actually downloaded from etsy um i've got quite a few now um i've got you know a good stash to do either as a diamond painting or to do it as a um a cross stitch this i can't transfer this over onto a diamond painting um but i've got something similar to this um as another cross stitch so i've got two but i think that one is a lot bigger than this one um but yeah this is just you can get them blank and you can get them with the print on as well so if you are unsure about where you're going to go wrong then i think it's best to have the the one where it's labelled with the picture sometimes the picture doesn't represent the flosses so you will have to look at your dmc numbers and your color uh, symbols to see what is what um but apart from that yeah that's quite good so i will get off and find a little home bag for this i don't know where or what i'm going to put in this i need to, to look, look at getting some um food bags that you can like stick all these in because then i'm not gonna you know lose them because that's the last thing i want um oh i have got something which i bought from hell's on that the charity shop um is this it's a little trinket box uh and this was two pound and my auntie bought it me last week um and what i've bought it for is to store my needles in so all my needles are in here um for canvases and stuff so i don't lose them and it's working really well so far so they're just compacted into that little little dinky thing one of the gems has come off but i'm not really fussed i like things like this and i remember my now my grandma having um loads of trinket boxes on her table um and I used to play with them when I was when I was little, so that that took me back and reminded me about the, um, the trinket boxes, just little boxes, like different ones, all on the table with a big lamp. I remember, they were quite cute. Uh, so that's those in there, nice little little box, and that's going to go in my bag. Um, I do need the box for these, but I am going to get some more of these bobbins because I do want to look at putting my spares onto here so then it makes it so much easier. But I might look at putting each um, each kit with a bobbin and just transferring them onto there so I can work easy from that. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for liking, watching and subscribing and I will speak to you all again soon. Goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.